What's up everyone, Sean Count Blagrath here today with an album review, this time of the 2017 Artismia Records release of Wolves in the Throne Room's newest album, Thrice Woven. If you are not familiar with Wolves in the Throne Room, they are a legendary atmospheric black metal band from Olympia, Washington. They've been around since the early 2000s and they've been creating absolutely incredible music. Some of my absolute favorite albums of all time, including the Diadem of 12 Stars, which in my opinion is a 10 out of 10 album. And same goes for Black Cascade. These albums to me are the definition of pure atmosphere and the essence of nature captured within the realms of extreme music. And if you haven't checked them out, you have been missing out for a long time. So do yourself a favor and check them out. But today we'll be talking about their brand new album, Thrice Woven. Now, Thrice Woven is the newest album from them, and this is coming after their ambient record, Celestite. So many people were too sure what the direction was that they were going to be taking. Uh, I had a solid feeling it was black metal, especially from the pictures that they uh, were uploading. And I was correct, but this is vastly different than what I was expecting. One of the biggest surprises about this record is the guitar tone is vastly different and the production is extremely clean, uh, especially when compared to the previous black metal record, which I believe was in 2011, Celestial Lineage. That was still a relatively raw record, so to speak. It wasn't like black Celeste raw, but it was definitely not clean production. Um, production on this almost reminds me of like Winter Violet and Woden's Throne, which isn't a bad thing, but it threw me off. And this album is definitely a grower because for me personally, the first time I heard it, I didn't know what to think of this. One of the first things that threw me off when I listened to this beyond the production was the guitar tone. It was not nearly as washed out in reverb and fuzz as the previous records. And the Cascadian atmosphere that I know and love so much from them was completely gone. And I was thinking to myself this whole time, I would probably like this album more if it was under a different band's name, not Wolves in a Throne Room, because I hold Wolves in a Throne Room to this standard of just extremely fuzzed out riffs. And the fuzz is gone. But after a few listens, I was able to pick up on this new sort of atmosphere Right from the beginning with the song Born from the Serpent's Eye on the first track, it opens with this acoustic guitar and it's beautiful and it almost reminds me of Aglock and the riffing kind of reminds me of like Diadem of Twelve Stars era riffing, which by my uh, standards is fantastic. I love that stuff. But as it continued, it had almost this Norwegian black metal riff about maybe three minutes in, there's this riff that kicks in that's completely like immortal and I didn't know how I felt about that and after multiple listens I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more and I feel like it's growing on me and this whole album is definitely a grower if you came into this with any sort of expectation of it being like their old material. Now just because the music's different that doesn't mean that it's bad by any means. And that doesn't mean the songwriting isn't just as incredible as it always has, which it is. To me, the uh, songwriting on this potentially might be the best they've ever done. The progressions in the songs are absolutely amazing. How they break off into these folk passages, especially on the song, The Old Ones Are With Us. I think that's the name of the song. And I was correct. These songs have these like sort of acoustic breaks and with the old ones are with us, there's spoken word at the beginning with the acoustic guitar and as it progresses through the song, you get these clean vocals with the acoustic guitar that are almost chant-like, which kind of brings back memories of Moss and Moonlight's album Winter Wheel, which I absolutely loved. The best part about this though is Wolves in a Throne Room kind of brought in Elements of everything that they've done, they have the folky elements, are even more straightforward folk. The ambient parts are even more ambient, and there's a lot more of them. But they took away the Cascadian atmosphere and replaced it with this almost Nordic-like atmosphere. And 
I didn't know how to feel about it, and now it's really growing on me, and I absolutely love it. Now, when it comes to everything else on this album besides the guitar, the drums are absolutely phenomenal. They're well played. I just wish there was a bit more of a bell within the ride, so it would just have a bit more of a distinction in terms of the sound. But the sound of the drums overall is absolutely fantastic. And the vocals, even though they're a bit buried in the mix, I've always liked that quality within black metal because it feels almost more dissonant and it feels like they're kind of screaming out of like a valley trying to be heard over this massive wash of guitar and bass and drums. And the newest like full on edition that you can hear crystal clear when compared to the old albums you couldn't really hear that well is the keyboards. The keyboards play a major factor on this album and it really adds to this Norse sort of atmosphere. To me, Wolves in the Throne Room's atmosphere has always been a rainy spring or fall day or a very hazy summer night with filled with just fog and you can just feel the humidity sticking to you. To me, Wolves in the Throne Room have always had that atmosphere, but this time around it's almost this winter, early spring sort of vibe. And honestly, I kind of like it. It wasn't something I was expecting, and the keyboards definitely help add to that, along with the acoustic guitars and the passages, especially on the song The Old Ones Are With Us, with the chanting sort of clean vocals where he says that uh, spring is coming or something like that. I can't remember the exact words, but the lyrics to it really add to this atmosphere, and I feel like they were aiming for something completely different, and they, if they were, they hit the nail on the head perfectly. Now, the length of this album is quite short compared to everything else they've done, realistically, other than, like, the Malevolent Grain EP, because that's, well, an EP. To me, this is, I'm guessing, I haven't checked, referenced uh, any of them, but this feels like the shortest album they've done. And I wish it was a little bit longer, but I feel like this was a good step in the right direction for them to introduce this new sound, if this is going to be the path that they're going down of this more clean production with a winter spring-like atmosphere that seems very fresh for Wolves in the Throne Room. They didn't repeat themselves, which is nice, and I feel like if they're going to be doing something like this, they should have introduced it in a very short burst, which is what they did. This album is only five tracks long, and it barely clocks over 40 minutes, if I remember correctly. It's very short, but to the point, and it helps introduce this sound. And for that reason alone, I really like the length of it. And plus, all the songs, they flow together perfectly as an album. If you're going to listen to anything from this, don't just pick one song from it and listen to it, then pick a different one and listen to it. Sit down and listen to it from beginning to end. It won't take up much of your time. And the payoff is definitely there. Now, for a score on this album, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's not my favorite from them. I have a feeling with enough time, it may become my favorite. But I'm not sure right now, just because it's so different from everything else they've done. It's very enjoyable, but it's hard for me to wrap my mind around the fact that this is the same band that created Diadema 12 Stars, Two Hunters, Black Cascade, Malevolent Grain, etc., it just feels extremely different. But with that said, it's still absolutely phenomenal. And I recommend you all check it out. Uh, it was released by the band through their own record label. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly at the beginning. But if you want, you can pick up a CD copy or a vinyl copy. I'm going to be getting both once I have the money. I've been streaming it off Google Play for the moment for the purpose of this review. Uh, if you guys have heard it, let me know what you think. Do you love it? Uh, do you feel the same way I do? Let me know. I'm curious to know all of your thoughts. And uh, that's it. 8.5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll see you in the next video and support Wolves in the Throne Room.